On a topic we've received a lot of questions about and something you've probably heard a lot over the last nine months. It's just the flu. ABC7 has interviewed countless medical professionals and patients who have contracted COVID-19. They've told you it's not like the flu, but if hearing it from them still doesn't convince you, the proof is in the numbers. Take a look here. This shows the total number of cases of flu and COVID-19 here in El Paso County. Now the blue bars you see here represent the total number of cases for each of the past five flu seasons. We peaked last year, you can see here 2019, 2020, with a little more than 15,000 cases. Now look at those red bars. The first, our total number of COVID-19 cases, nearly 87,000. The next red bar on the far right there, the total number of COVID-19 cases in November alone, nearly 37,000 cases. Last month's total alone not only far exceeds any full season of flu, it's even more than the last two seasons combined and just shy of the last three seasons combined. But that's just cases. Let me show you what has made this pandemic so much more devastating for so many families in our community. This is now a comparison of each season's flu-related deaths to COVID-19 related deaths. Again in blue, as you see here, are each of the last five flu seasons. Our deadliest year in that time span, 21 here in the 2017-2018 flu season. Now in the red, total number of confirmed coronavirus deaths currently at 933, and in the month of November alone, 331 deaths added to that official death toll. And while many people who contracted COVID-19 may experience mild to no symptoms at all, one thing is very clear based on this data alone, you cannot accurately state COVID-19 is just the flu. And as we've seen this current surge in COVID-19 cases and deaths, the city tells me there have been 135 confirmed flu cases from mid-September through October and no flu related deaths to date. So here's a bit of good news. In a tweet today from Caitlin Rivers, a doctor who specializes in epidemiology and outbreak science and works at Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. The graph here that you see shows overall flu activity so far this season compared to several other seasons. She states flu activity so far this season, which is indicated by these little triangles down here, remains low. Dr. Rivers reminds us the measures we take to slow the pandemic, wearing masks, social distancing, and getting a flu shot will help prevent the flu season as well.